Good morning, happy Monday. With Monday, this is week 19, which means we have new, we're getting rid of all our old verses. We're starting new again, but we are going to keep this one on the pop to, um, attitude for one more week because that's our verse of the month. But before we get started, let's start with prayer. Father, thank you for each one of the students. Thank you for the big people that are helping today. Help us have a good new week. Pray that you might um, help the kids to listen well and obey with a happy heart today. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so we're talking about having a positive attitude, right? Proverbs 15, 13. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. Okay, this week we're going to have the letter M. Easy, easy, easy verse. My son, give me thy, thine heart. Okay, now, thine. This is a word that is su. Now, this, the, actually, it's tu. It's the word tu. Give me your heart. My son, give me your heart. Okay? Thine, um, I won't go into it. That's too hard to explain. But it just means to. Give me your heart. Okay? Give me thine heart. Okay? This is from a father to a son. Son, listen to me. Listen to me and love me and trust me and do what I say because you love me. That's what it means. And so we should be that way with our parents, right? Love them and trust them and obey with a happy heart, right? Obey with a happy heart, believing that what they're doing is for your good, right? Sometimes we don't like what our mamas and daddies make us do, but it's because they love us and they're trying to teach us, right? Okay. And that says, my son, give me thine heart. Okay. So it's from a father to his son, from parents, right? But also from God. God is our father. And he says, give me your heart. Love me. Trust me. Obey with a happy heart. Because I want what's best for you. I'm trying to teach you and make you better, right? And that's kind of on our po on our um, positive attitude. Kind of like when you have problems, when things don't go right, just trust God. He loves you. He's trying to make you a better person. Remember, we said he gives you problems to make you smarter and stronger and tougher and to help you learn new things to make you a better person person. It's because he loves you. Just trust him. Trust God that he wants to help you. Okay? That's our verse. Let's say it three times. My son, give me thine heart. My son, give me thine heart. One more time. My son, give me thine heart. Okay, we were talking this month about having a positive attitude. Boop, there it is. Have a positive attitude, right? Be determined no matter what comes. I'm going to keep a good attitude about it, and I'm going to figure out my problems with God's help, right? Okay. We said be, keep a, a, optimistic spirit, right? Okay. When we have problems, what do we do? Find creative solutions and get busy in doing them. Hey, but you know what? Sometimes, I don't know about you, it's like, I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. It's too hard. It's whatever our complaint is, okay? When we were first told that we couldn't have school, you know what I said? I can't teach these kids at home. Not over a video, the little telephone screen, especially the kinders. The kinders, they can't learn English. And that's what I said. And I was angry. It can't be done. They don't know any English. How can I teach them? But God said, you don't have a choice, okay? Figure it out. But it's not going to work. It can't be done. Figure it out. 
But this is stupid. Figure it out. And so God has helped me and God has helped you and the kinders. We don't have a choice. The government made the decision, bad decision, but we don't have a choice in it. So what do we have to do? Find ways to make it work. And you know what? Some days making these videos, ah, oh, so hard. I don't want to do this. I want to have children in my classroom. I want to be able to talk to you and laugh with you and have you stand up and move and be able to look at your eyes so I can see if you understand. I want to help you to understand, but I can't do that. I don't know what you know. I don't know. I don't know if you understand. I don't know if you're doing the work or if your mother's doing the work. I don't know. And it's really hard. And sometimes it is so hard to make these videos. But I don't have a choice, right? So we say, okay, figure it out. Be creative. But the problem is, right, figure it out and just do it. The big thing is, how do we get motivated? Oh, motivate. Motivate. Okay. Motivate. Or motivation. Okay. That means get the want to. How do I get the want to? Get me, this word here is from the word move. How do I get myself moving? Get and go in there. That's the tough part. When the things that you don't want to do. Okay, so first thing is we start, first of all, one, get a, get a good attitude. Put a happy face on, right? First thing I have is I don't have a choice. So find a good attitude, put your happy face on, and let's get started. Because, okay, here's the problem. Big problems out there. It's not going to walk away. It's going to be there until, until we move it. Big rock, right? Like a big rock. Can you move a big rock by yourself? No. No. Even with help, sometimes you can't. You need a bulldozer. Right? Okay. So unless you get started, it's not going to get done. Elephant. If, if we brought an elephant to your house and I said, you must eat this elephant. Can you eat that whole elephant by yourself? Not all in one day. Not all today. But... If you cut it up in pieces and put it in a freezer so it doesn't get all nasty and then every day pull out a chunk and then you take your chunk and you cut it into pieces. I have this part for breakfast, this part for lunch, this part for supper, this part before I go to bed. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And after many, 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 many days that elephant will be gone and you will never want to see an elephant again. You don't even want to hear the word elephant, right? No. No. But it's gone. But it's gone. And that's what kind of how our problems are. It's going to be there whether you like it or not. You got to get it moved out of the way. So what do you need to do? Get out there and move it. Get out there and just start. One step, one step, one step. The Bible has a verse. It says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Okay, what does that verse mean? It means God's holding you by with your hand, by your hand. Boop, 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 kind of like... Um, Jesus and Peter going across the water, right? Peter fell down. But what did Jesus do? He pulled him out of the water, grabbed hold of his hand, and they walked together. And because they walked together, they didn't fall down. Okay. With little babies, when they start walking, you hold their hands, right? First you hold two hands, and then you hold one hand, right? 
right, to get them their balance, right? Okay, but you hold on to that hand. Then they're going to fall. Then you pick them up. Try it again, right? God does one step, one step, one step, one step, one step, and then you're back in the boat and it's safe again, right? But you got to get out there and just start moving, right? Because if you don't start moving, it will never get done. So that's the first thing, motivation. The first thing to get you moving is just saying, it's not going to do itself. It's got to be done. And the sooner I get it done, the sooner I can go do what I want to do, right? Or the sooner it's out of the way that I don't have to look at it and think about it. Now, some kids like to get their homework done really fast. Get it all done. And then they can go play. Some kids are just... Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, and it stretches it out all day long. Mr. Matt was that way when he did his schoolwork all day long. And I would say, you can't eat your supper till you finish your schoolwork, so you better get it finished because you don't get to eat till it's done. And it'll be 5 o'clock and he's still playing around at his desk with his math sitting on his table. No, get it done. But his brothers, man, they would go because they wanted to go out and run all around the neighborhood with their friends. As soon as they got that done, they could take their little guns, their toys, whatever they wanted to play with, and they would go out in the trees and go play, right? Get it, just get started. The faster you get it started, the faster it's done, and then you don't have to look at it anymore, think about it, or anything like that, right? In life, where there are a lot of there are a lot of tough times, and what I like to do when my boys were little, the whole time they were growing up, we learned about different people because everybody in life has kind of the same problems, right? Remember last week I told you the story about George Washington Carver, right? He was very poor. He couldn't go to school because he was black, and nobody wanted him, so he had to leave home at 12 years old. And he needed a job. He needed a place to live. He needed all sorts of stuff. And he didn't have any money. He didn't have a mommy and daddy to take care of him. He was just all by himself at 12. But what did he do? He went to find a job at a different city in a different way, 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 way far away. It's like if you would walk from here all the way up to Tegucigalpa. That's how far away he had to walk on his own two little feet. He didn't get it, have a car or a horse or anything else. He had to walk it. But he did. He did. He walked it all. And then he got there, and he had to find food along the way. How? When he got there, he needed a job, but nobody wanted him. They wanted a girl. He said, I'll do it. Right? Can we tell you these stories? Before I told you the story about Thomas Edison and the light bulb, how he kept trying to get it right. We tell you pick stories about different people, people just like you, regular everyday people, no different than you, right? They might be a little bit older, but they have problems just like you. And what did they do? They figured it out. Right? And that's why we tell you stories. We have stories in the Bible about David and Daniel and Jonah, about people who do different things, how they're scared, but they do it anyway, right? To give you the courage that, well, he did it, and if he can do it, I can do it too. His God is the same God I have, right? And that's why we learn about different people to see, hey, it can be done. They did it. Well, if they did it, I can do it, too. Mm -hmm. And you know what? If you keep going, then there'll be other people that'll see you doing that. And they'll say, well, if he did it, maybe I can do it, too. And then you can do things together. You encourage that person, and that person encourages you. And you encourage that person, and that person. Remember that verse we had, too? are better than one, right? If you have another person there, a friend to help you, like doing your sumas, right? But when you do it with a friend, 
it's more fun and you don't, you know, you don't get so discouraged, right? Two are better than one. You encourage others and they will encourage you. They'll help you give you that motivation to get, get a move. Don't quit. Come on, you can do it. Right? You encourage others when they see you see they need the, the encouragement and they can help each other, right? You help others to get moving and they'll help you too, okay? Our verse this week is my son, give me thine heart. Trust. God gives you those problems to make you better. So don't give up. What motivates you? The thing is that God, God loves you and he's trying to make you better. He will help you. The sooner you get this problem taken care of, go to God for help. The sooner you get done, the sooner it's over. And then you are a better, smarter, stronger, tougher person, right? That is motivation for me a lot of times because I don't want to have to do the same problem all over again, right? Get it done and learn something really cool, okay? Let's hear verse two times. My son, give me thine heart. My son, give me thine heart. And we'll see you tomorrow.